Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to share this one with you. It's a, a new arrival today. It's a Grand Seiko, uh, my first ever Grand Seiko, and uh, I just wanted to give you my first impressions of it. The model number for this Grand Seiko is uh, SBGM 023Gi, and uh, the watch is from 2012, so let's have a wee look at it. And it's a 24-hour GMT model. Um, I don't know how much the camera is going to pick up about what the the aesthetics of this watch are, but first impressions are it's incredibly reflective. The facets on the hour markers, you see the way it catches the light, and the hour hand, and the way it just they're like razors. It's very very sharp. You've got that gorgeous blue of the GMT hand. Um, it's a 39.5mm case. And the dial is... Wow, it's, it's like an off cream colour. It's very hard to capture the colour actually. And... I got this um, from a friend on a watch forum, and it's I'm, I'm quite blown away by the looks of it, to be honest. It's uh, I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's um, it's stunning. The movement in the back there, you can see it's not the high beat movement. It's, it is an automatic movement, so it's got the rotor and so on with some uh, Cote de Genève, but it's a reasonably industrial level of finishing inside compared to some of the sort of horology um, makers, you know, the Pateks and so on, but it's uh, it's nicely finished and I think it suits the watch. Um, the bracelet's very, very nice. The fit uh, between the end links and the case is very little tolerance there at all, very little gap or movement. Um, very, very nice. The clasp itself is standard clasp connects together Oops. very nicely you've got this very deep engraved GS the Grand Seiko badge there you notice that this one I know in recent um, recent times Grand Seiko have uh, dropped the word Seiko from their dial and uh, they've just got the GS logo at the top of the dial um, I quite like this. I, th I like the fact that uh, they're proud to declare that they're a Seiko. Uh, I think this would definitely be easily a contender against something like an um, Omega Aquaterra. I would suggest it's possibly even a bit better finished than that. Um, great watch for business, great watch for dress watch. It's got a bit of sportiness about it, although the high polished surfaces, I don't think I would be taking this anywhere near a sports field, to be honest. It's a bit too nice for that. Uh, drilled lug holes, which is going to make changing the bracelet, if ever I choose to put it onto leather, going to make that a cinch, so that's great. Um, just a very practical watch. Very, very practical watch. The way it catches the lights, is, I think it's just looking at that there. It's like every hour in this has got one, two, three, four, five, six, six cuts on it. So that when you just turn it very, very slightly, it just catches the light. Mm. And the blue of that GMT is just quite striking as well. Well, it's just my first impressions, guys, just to let you see the watch. It's a, it's a beauty again, the model number SBGM023J. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope to bring you some more watches soon. Bye.